with a little bit of rainstorms happening every so many days and my allergies being off and on flaring up, I actually haven't checked on the garden for like four days or maybe, maybe even like a whole week. I'm not sure, but let's go check on it and see what we can find. That's huge. I'll just twist it. Oh, big! Wow, that's a really big one. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Big one, huh? <laughs> Everett, did you find something? What's the basket for? Tomatoes. Ooh, cool. We've been waiting and waiting for fresh tomatoes. Um, that one plant that we were picking in a couple of episodes ago is the only one that's been fruiting for a while because we planted it uh, straight from the nursery. It was about two feet tall, so it was the first to grow fruit. Now our other ones are growing fruit and we're so excited. It's actually raining again, <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for Everett. He said he wants to pick them so bad, he's gonna go pick them in the rain, and then he'll show us his harvest. It's finally getting to that time of year where we have so much harvest that it gets overwhelming. I love it though. We have a cabbage head that I picked a couple days ago. I still haven't cooked up. And come look at all this zucchini that we have. <laughs> it's crazy. So this is all our own zucchini here. Look at that, this is the one Emma just picked. But we already have all the rest. I'm so excited. My favorite thing to cook is a ratatouille style soup. And all I'm waiting for is tomatoes. What I use when, I'm, when I don't have the tomatoes, I use my zucchini in zucchini brownies, and I'm gonna have to share a recipe. I have been tinkering around uh, with a recipe that uh, makes brownies with no uh, processed sweeteners um, and just bananas. They're so good. They're so good. Anyway, so I'm gonna try and put zucchini in it, see if I can get the recipe to be even better, and then when it is supreme, I will share it with you guys, and I am hoping that you will really enjoy that. Oh, that flower bouquet is looking a little bit sad. And Trent just bought me a new vase because my last fishbowl vase broke. It was really thin. And this one's really sturdy. Lizzie, do you want to brave the rain and cut me a bouquet of sunflowers? Okay. Yay. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Yay. Okay, let's follow Lizzie. I need more just because it's a big bowl. Now that it's stopped raining, I'm gonna go check out this pumpkin plant climbing up our uh, cucumber trellis. Speaking of our cucumbers, they all died. So I'm not sure what I did wrong because the squash here isn't sad. So I wonder why the cucumbers weren't happy. Maybe they need different nutrients and the cucumbers just didn't have the right stuff, obviously. But look at this pumpkin plant. We thought it was a spaghetti squash, but that doesn't look like any spaghetti squash I've ever seen. And look at this, it's climbing up. This is hilarious. I wonder how big it'll get before it pops off and falls to the ground. Trent says that he wants to make a hammock. Look at that, it's grabbing on tight though. 
That is fascinating. I mean, that's so cool that it can hold itself so securely. Find a strawberry? Yum. Thank you, Lizzie. That looks so beautiful. So we must have been on the other side of the house when Everett came in, but look at his harvest that he got. This is all the stuff that he just picked. I'm so excited. This is just exactly what we've been waiting for all season long. Every year, I don't know if there's any way that you can replace the taste of warm, sun-ripened tomato. There's no other taste. But look at all these peppers. This is crazy. So these are jalapenos, I think. Do we plant any other kind of long pepper like this, honey? It's just jalapeno, right? Yeah, just jalapeno this year. Okay. That's awesome. And they're all, but they're not and look at that. Oh, oh I'm so excited. <laughs> Fantastic. It'd be a great basil pizza. We got a new basil. Our other one was just, it dried up. We didn't take good care enough care of it, I guess. <laughs> but now, I think that would be delicious on pizza with basil and tomatoes. And I know what I'm going to do with the jalapenos. I'm going to try and make some cream cheese and take some bacon and make bacon jalapeno poppers. We have a happy singing girl. <laughs> It's always so glorious looking at your harvest and having a fresh bouquet in your house. And it really makes a rainy day seem that much more cheerful when you have all these things to look at inside your kitchen. We always appreciate you guys watching and um, don't forget to follow the link down below to Trent's art auction and you'll be able to see the paintings that he has available and be able to bid if you like or just check them out. Please feel free to share with any of your art-loving friends or your homesteading-loving friends. And we hope you guys have a really great day.
Angela and I are done with our sunflower paintings and both of them are available on our auction site and the link is down below. Thanks for watching. Bye. What the heck? There's another bunny! That one didn't die with three bunnies. <laughs> so apparently, Willow Creek Homestead um, came and stopped by and dropped off another bunny. Well, we were gone, so...